I loved um, a lot about it, but the, the best thing was the energy. And then when Adelaide came back, um, the guys came back with great energy again. And uh, I really think we were trying to do the things that we said we're going to try to do to continue to get better. And, uh, you know, simple fundamental things that have, haven't always been there through four quarters. And I, I think tonight um, against a really good team who was in basically the same situation as us as far as going towards the playoffs, um, you know, the guys found, found that groove, found that groove. Yeah, I haven't even looked at their numbers, but I, I know their numbers must be really good. Um, they were great. Uh, I want to talk about the Kiwi. That was really good. I thought Jared Kenny was uh, instrumental in, uh, in really turning things for us in the second half. And uh, I'm just so proud of how he's continued to, to play. Um, and the other guy's consistency has, has helped him know that he just has to come out and do his job. And, uh, Tonight, his job was to make those three threes in a row and uh, get us rolling. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a part of our leadership group, and uh, he's a guy who's been through um, battles both in international play and also when he was with Perth in the NBL. So, um, and, he's, and he's just a phenomenal teammate and a worker. And, uh, he kind of exemplifies what um, a number of these guys um, and what we want them to be like. So, uh, yeah, it was great to see him get off a little tonight. <laughs> Who do we play next? Southeast Melbourne, right? That's that's what we're uh, that's what we're focusing on. But yeah, I mean, we're we're building towards getting better, and if we continue to get better, then finals is something that. Uh, we're going to make. So uh, we're just going to, you know, do what we did today. Uh, this week is fight and get better. And, uh, and I think the guys were better tonight than we've been, even over the last, you know, what have we won six out of seven, I think, over this last little patch. And, uh, but it wasn't just winning, it was just the way the guys played. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to um, continuing to get better. And, and hopefully that'll land us in a really good position. Well, you know, I, we let him get loose. Um, Daniel Johnson, I assume you're talking about. This is the only DJ I know. But um, <laughs> no, they, they both were fantastic. And Daniel Johnson's a phenomenal player and, uh, you know, leads, leads that group in a number of things that he does. Um, and tonight he shot the ball really well. Uh, he doesn't shoot a lot of threes. Uh, but he got open tonight and shot it very well. And, uh, and so we need to do a better job um, in defending that. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, um, this DJ is playing phenomenal basketball and leading from the front. And, uh, yeah, just I'm really happy with how he's going about his business and doesn't want, um, you know, the fanfare or doesn't, doesn't try to get that. He just, he just plays ball. And, uh, and does his job well every week, whether he scores 28 or uh, only 26. So. The way, the way you shot the ball this year, PJ, I mean, obviously tonight, Gray, right, well, but throughout the season, is it, are you getting a bit of space in this season? Do you get the kind of books? Do you work with your shot or do you shoot the ball off that as you I think it's a mixture of everything you just said. Um, me working on my shot, um, space in the floor, we have a lot of guys who can shoot, so, and our guys who can penetrate. Um, and our bigs, our bigs has been, to me, they're the best screening bigs in the league. So they've been, you know, get, hitting bodies and getting us open for shots. So I think it's a mixture of everything you just said. When you shoot, you know, sometimes you're like, hey, I'm going to go in. Do you feel well with full confidence the way when you're going to go? Yeah, I mean, when you put the work in, that gives you the confidence to go in a 
the game and, you know, take those shots. And um, I think my team is confident in me shooting the ball. I know coach allows me to, you know, when you like, you like the shot, take it with confidence. So I always think the shot's going in. Uh, yeah, a lot of reps. I think um, me getting older, understanding where my shots are coming from, um, being in the mic system um, last year helped me understand that the shots I'm going to get this year. So it was a little bit of everything that helps me out. I mean, anytime you have a full week to prepare for a group, you know, a team, it's always good. Um, so, you know, managing bodies is something that um, our coaching staff and our, our off the court staff has been like uh, real tremendous in um, as far as like practice, load times, um, how hard we go in the weight room. Um, so I think coach is doing a good job of managing us, understanding that, you know, we are human and not robots. We feel great. I think today we showed that we, you know, we're not fatigued. Uh, we got a lot of guys, and we have guys who are coming off the bench and giving us good minutes. So, you know, we're not just out there playing 40. Um, so uh, our bench has been tremendous for us, giving, uh, giving us breaks. And uh, like I said, coach is doing a good job of managing our body, so we feel fine. Michael, you've been scheduled to go earlier after the Brisbane game. I don't know, you know, you took about the nine second mark to bring the bench guys on. You know, it, Brisbane game never came into my head. Um, I felt like these guys were um, having no problem, or they were very, very good breaking the press, um, the pressure everywhere, and moving the ball freely. They were, we were struggling to get stops late, but um, but we had a good margin. But but percentage matters, um, and uh, you know it's that balance between getting young guys minutes and. Uh, and percentage as it goes towards the finals. So, uh, you know, I was I was glad that some of the young guys could get minutes tonight because they've been they've been great. Um, you know, Tad Tad Dufemeyer got out there. Anthony Fisher, Ty Winyard, um, and George played some minutes in the clutch there. So, uh, those guys those guys deserve minutes as as much as anybody. And uh, I was glad they went out there and did some good things. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're hopeful. Um, you know, he's he's 21 or 22 years old, so I'm not too worried about his fitness. Uh, as far as his, he could probably have two trainings and he's going to be in better shape than some of the old guys. Um, not not DJ, but um, yeah, I'm, I feel good about working him in with this group, and uh, he'll he'll get in quickly fitness wise. Um, and he's and he's working hard every day, so it's. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to uh, to add him to the group because um, he stayed he stayed right involved in um, all the stuff we're doing off the court, basically. You know, we we definitely have to recognize that this group is playing really well, and we have to. Bring Kawat back in a way that's going to even lift this group higher, um, and we're figuring that out. Uh, and I'm sure we'll we'll test um, test the best way to do that. But I'm really excited to bring him back because he's a he's a great teammate. He's a really good basketball player, and uh, and this group can can always get better. Thanks, guys.